Hey again everyone, welcome back here to Marine Max in Pompano Beach. My name is Chris Wenstrom, very excited for you to be joining us as we walk through a brand new 470 Sky from Galleon. We're going to go ahead and do a comprehensive walkthrough from bow to stern and show you why this is a perfect yacht for you and your family. We're going to start here on the aft end of the swim platform. Wanted to note that there is a pull-out observer seat, so if we do have the boat at anchor and we have the kids out in the water swimming, I've got a deployable aft-facing seat here to be able to relax and still stay on the boat. When it does stow away, you can see it nicely matches the contour lines here of the aft end of my seat and still gives me a tremendous amount of walk-around room on the swim platform. All with a teak overlay here throughout the entire outside of the boat. And on the starboard side here, I do have a reboarding ladder with a handle there for water entry here on the swim platform. So incredible amount of room, and we're gonna go ahead and work our way up top here. One detail that is often left off in walkthrough videos is being able to take a look down in the engine compartment. So I wanted to quickly give a quick look at the inside of our engine compartment here in the 470 Sky. This boat is powered by twin Volvo Penta D8 600 horsepower engines. So tons of power to get this boat up on plane. Just wanted to pan through and show you how much room I have. Tons of access to my distribution panels here, battery switches, batteries down below, and then my ladder back up top. Working our way up here into the aft deck, we do have a door that does close off for added security. And right next to that, it does expose my power, my shore power cable. So that does have an automatic retraction mode. So I can actually bring the shore power cord in here electronically. Plenty of room here as I work my way to my big aft facing lounge. As you can see, beautiful wraparound seating here. Plenty of room for having a meal with you and your guests. This entire table will drop down and a filler cushion will go on top to give me a nice sun pad here. Relax underneath the shade of the hard top or if I wanted to sit on the aft end of the seat, you can see I get plenty of sun here for uh, those days we wanted to get some sun. So we're gonna go ahead and talk about a really neat feature on this 470 in the fact that both of my gunnels will actually fold down into what's called beach mode. So here on the starboard side, we did deploy the gunnel wing to be able to show the amount of room that you do gain here when you're doing a little bit more of those days of entertaining. So these receivers will actually hold guideposts as well as a safety rope to be able to keep small children here inside the boat. And then these bar stools are deployable as well, so I remove them when the wing folds up. There are two on opposing sides, so a great place to hear to be able to serve your guests. This countertop does retract down, but just wanted to show the amount of space that you do have when it is deployed. So this gives me easy access inside and outside of the boat, make me feel like I have a little bit more room outside, but also plenty of natural air to move in and out of the main cockpit of the boat. We're going to go ahead and work our way up to the bow and show you some of the features up there as well. So before we work our way inside the cabin as well as seeing the sky deck, wanted to note here the amount of entertaining space you have up here in the bow. All of these backrests deploy up to give as many people as you want up here a place to sit comfortably. When you are underway, all of these backrests will fold into the storage compartments underneath to give you full visibility here from the helm seat. In the center there, there is an option to plug in a serving table so I can have a meal up here in the bow, watch the sun go down. As you can see, all stainless steel rails all the way around for added security. Access here to my ground tackle for my windlass with foot controls. Ball chain as well, so no rope in this setup. A little stainless steel anchor there to tie off to. As you work your way down the side, as you can see, stainless steel grab rail all the way around and wanted to note here on the side there is a section that does allow you to board from the side of the boat so if we did get into a dock situation where I needed to exit the boat here from the side that does give me the option to be able to do that so let's go ahead and look up top and show you the sky deck so here up top on the sky deck of this 470 sky is by far the highlight of this entire boat as you can see, I have full controls here up top at my upper helm station, but most importantly, I have full visibility outside of the boat, 360 degrees around me. So it really feels like I'm out as part of the elements. I really don't feel like I'm on a boat when I'm up top here, and it really makes you feel that uh, you can take this boat anywhere that you like. So really quickly, just again, full instrument controls. This entire console does rise up and down, 
And as I mentioned up in the bow, all of these backrests will also deploy underneath their respective cushions. So once these seats are deployed and my helm, my helm is all the way at its lowest position, I can actually cover this entire sky deck with a canvas top that does retract, as you can see there on the aft end. So that entire canvas will cover this top section, keep everything nice and out of the elements, and we'll be ready for underway travel if we are operating from underneath. So beautiful visibility, nice acrylic windshield there. So you can see this beautiful bronze color, nice finish here to this 470 sky. So let's go ahead and uh, head downstairs and we'll show you the rest of the boat. All right, here we are inside the cockpit of the 470 sky. We're gonna start here in the kitchen area and show you some of the features that we have here. As you can see, one of my favorite features on all of the Galleon line is the amount of natural light that I have that comes through the windows and really makes this feel like a much larger boat than 47 feet. But here, as you can see, tremendous amount of prep station here, nice big oversized Corian countertop, small trash receptacle that's built into the countertop. I do have a, not one, but two step refrigeration system to be able to keep all of my food and beverages nice and cold. Microwave, nice and flush here with the cabinetry. All of my cabinetry is done in a matte finish. You can also opt for a high gloss, but as you can see with the Corian and this nice uh, matte finish, is just a beautiful concept here in the kitchen. My sink does have a cutting board, which is removable to expose the sink. A Kenyan range here as well. All cleanly laid out, kind of separate from my entertaining space, so gives me uh, nice visibility, number one, but also a tremendous amount of room here to be able to prep a meal. As you can see here on the port, on the, sorry, on the starboard side, I do have one of my windows open. And so both of these windows will open up. We unfortunately couldn't fold down the gunnel wing on the port side, but wanted to give an example of how much natural air you can have move through the cockpit here. So again, big, large serving station with the countertop that does extend out so I can serve my guests there on their bar stools on either side of this boat. Tremendous amount of storage down here below as well. No shortage of storage on this boat. And the nice thing too is that I do have my laser routed carpet that is down right now, but I can remove all of this. But as you can see, perfectly cut to the edge of the floor, all can be removed if I wanted to give the boat a real deep clean. At my height at six foot three, tons of room here inside to be able to walk around comfortably. Everything is covered in this suede material to really uh, knock down some of the ambient noise to give this a very quiet ride. Additional storage here above your kitchen. Moving forward, we do have one step up. And again, you can see the ceiling does relief here as well to make sure I'm not bumping my head. And wanted to note the beauty in this wraparound seat. Incredible cross stitching, nice diamond weave to it. Super plush, super comfortable with a table that does extend out for those days when we are gonna be serving. But this also will drop down as well. And with the table drop down, filler cushion goes on top and I have another place for somebody to be able to sleep here on the port side of the boat. Cup holders there up and out of the way. Again, tremendous amount of natural light that comes through. Even here on top, with these curtains open up, I can allow more natural light to come through. And then here, this entire hard top actually opens to create a sunroof. This is, this is all powered. So with the doors open, the sunroof open, it's basically like a convertible boat to give you a tremendous amount of natural air that moves through. Nice sunlight beaming down on everybody inside the boat, but if I did want to tuck it away and close this all off for those real hot days, the AC will definitely keep this nice and comfortable for you and your guests. Before we move on, here on the starboard side as well, on this small observer seat, right above this is a TV that will actually rise out of the top here and will stow away with a cover to keep it nice and concealed. So if I did want to watch a program, I could bring the movie up, let the kids sit here on the couch, watch a movie, and uh, tucks away when it's not in use. Again, beautiful finish in the seats here. Look at the size of this helm chair. Nice double wide seat for the captain with a flip up bolster, all with the same contrast diamond weave stitching here. At the helm, same controls as up above. All of my rocker switches all cleanly laid out and labeled. Great visibility here under the windshield. This uh, natural light coming through here as well just really makes us feel like a, a oversized helm station. Controls all in great reach. Doesn't feel like I have to reach for anything. So this is a very comfortable place to drive the boat. Air conditioning vents here, just below my compass. 
as you can see more i know i keep harping on it but the natural light that moves in even through the atrium and to kind of bounce that light off of the top of the boat here really makes us feel like a much larger boat than 47 feet as i work my way down the steps you can see i have a leather wrapped handle here as well and this compartment here is going to be all of my systems on board all of my power starts from here and then i have another distribution panel as well that is on a tilt glass and uh, button recesses in nice and clean to keep that nice and tucked out of the way again this beautiful suede wrapped throughout the entire boat and we can go ahead and start with our rooms as i mentioned this is a three stateroom boat so we're going to start here on the starboard side with our bunk beds so great place for the kids to have their own bed separate from the vip tons of natural light that comes in through there as well as well as some storage and a hanging closet one thing I like too is that all of these doors are on a magnet catch. So when we are underway, we don't have to worry about these doors swinging around. Big heavy duty magnet lock set in place. Nice oversized stainless steel grab handle, all stainless steel hardware, and just a beautiful fit and finish. Here forward is our VIP stateroom. And just again, beautiful fit and finish. I love the backsplash there with the natural lights. All of these open up. If I wanted to create more natural light, I do have my emergency escape hatch there forward. 12 volt plugs, USB plugs, your own air conditioning unit in here, natural light coming in through the side windows, tons of storage around both sides, and a small vanity here, which is a nice touch when you're getting ready in the morning. Extremely comfortable bed and a great place for your guests to have their own private stateroom. As we are leaving our VIP stateroom, as you can see, I do have a Jack and Jill door set up to access our day head. So I wanted to quickly show you inside to see how this is finished out, the amount of room you have in here. Nice panes of glass, beautiful sink, beautifully finished out hardware, natural light as well as natural air that can come through on that port window. Tremendous amount of storage above and below, and just a beautifully finished out shower. And now time to check out the master stateroom. Come on and follow me. As I work my way into the master, this is where we see our master head. So it is separate from our day head. Again, magnet catch to hold that door in place. Very similar sink and hardware setup. I do have privacy shades that can open and close. And this is gonna be separate from my head and shower to give me a stand up designated shower. As you move into the master stateroom, just a small step down. We'll start here on the port side of the boat. As you see, I have a nice prep station here with its vanity, full size mirror. So if I am going to get ready for the day, this is a comfortable place to sit. I can have my makeup, anything I need to stow away in there, get ready for the day. I can watch the sun come up or go down with this big pane of glass here. And again, just beautifully finished seat, same as up above. This is a full beam master. And again, very similar finishings to the VIP stateroom in this, uh, this backsplash here. There is a backlight that will illuminate all of this as well. Separate air conditioning handler here for the master. A small step down and back up. Beautiful window here on this side. Tons of storage underneath all of these cabinets and just a great place to uh, put any family photos, anything I wanted to stage here. And a very comfortable bed and small reading lights as well. Again, all with this beautiful vinyl to keep this nice and quiet when we are gonna be sleeping on board. 